Oh man, I got it. Kinda had to look that up a little bit, sorry. So you might hear might have heard my mouse a little bit. But we got it. You just all you have to do really is make sure that one and three are on the top. So you need to get rid you need to press two and four when you do it, and it gets rid of two and four on the top, and then it, it's done. So I did it. Thanks. Thank you, Game Facts. <laughs> I totally forgot, I'm sorry. I forgot that that was a thing. So now we can just go on through, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's just go on through now. Doesn't that look fantastic? Jeez, what the fuck is that? I wonder, what kind of meat is this? Yeah. I don't want to see where they make it. Wait, Faye. You ate that food. Consider that fact when you open that door. What about that canned food? What is it? What's supposed to be there exactly? See for yourselves. Before we go through this door, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw this out here on why Saiten is the best fucking character in the game. Um, he's a, he's a big asshole. He's the biggest fucking asshole. Let's go see why he's a big asshole. Soylent system. The, the Organism Experiment Lab and its disposal facility in Solaris. And the production facility for food and medicine to ma maintain the limiter seal. Aquavi's Wells Reapers were also made here. Ellie, do you remember Dominia's words during our infiltration of Shabbat? Here is the answer. People of her native country served as one of the origins for Wells, the M Plan. They were used that way because of their peculiar, peculiar abilities. She is, the, she is the last survivor. Ellie, your father, Eric, used to be the superintendent of this facility. He was involved in the research with Maria's father. Don't be ridiculous! My father never take part in such a thing. Naturally, Eric always had pangs of guilt. So he kept as many land dwellers as possible under his protection as third class citizens. Then he resigned. That's why he is on administrative staff of the special forces now. My father... did that? No, it can't be true. Now get up, Faye. Get up and look it over. Could this be true, Doc? This is reality. Let's go. This is fucked up, by the way. This is what makes Saiten the best character. This is what makes Saiten a fucking asshole. Cause he knew. He fucking knew when they were like, hey, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat this because it's here. Saiten was like, no, you know. Uh, well, Saiten, Saiten was like, uh, he was offered the food and he declined it because he knew obviously that this is how they were made. And it's fucking disgusting. And he's the biggest dickhole. And no one calls him out on it. No one calls him out on his bullshit. This is bullshit. And they're not even mad. They're not even yelling at him. Because, I don't know why, honestly. He could have stopped them from eating this. 
he could have stopped them, honestly. I'm just gonna keep talking while we're talking, while I'm going off here. But, this is one of the greatest discoveries in the game, honestly. This is one of my favorite parts in the game. It is such a fucking hard hitter. It, it's done so well, because they experienced it themselves. They were hungry, they ate some food, you know, whatever, you didn't think about it that much. Then, you were brought into this factory of how they were made, and what this Soylent system is. And then, fucking Saiten here is going off in his little monologue bullshit where he's like, Yeah, by the way, this is fucking reality. This is how this shit is done. This is how Solaris fucking works. It's disgusting. It's fucked up. It's, uh, I mean, it's just, it blows my mind. When I first saw this, I was like, fucking like, first of all, I was like, God damn it, Saiten, you asshole. And then second, I was like, holy shit, this is totally fucked up. So, damn, it is so cool. It is such a fucking cool thing that they do. That's why I really respect, uh... I'm just gonna run away. <laughs> this is why I really respect games from this era. Because there wasn't such strict guidelines on what they were able to do in their games. I mean, sure, you can slap an M rating and you can do whatever. But back, back here in these times, like, you could talk about this shit and it'd be like, okay, it's part of the story, whatever. I don't know, it's, it's fucking hardcore. It's, it's hard, this is hardcore compared to today's games. I don't care what you say to me, this is pretty fucking hardcore. But to end a person's life and they, and they consume their flesh. Is that permissible? But yeah, Saiyan's a big fucking asshole, and that's why I love him so much. That's why he's my favorite character in this entire game. Because he's the biggest fucking asshole. He'll- he'll do that shit to prove a point to you. That yeah, this is fucked up and this is reality. He does that just to prove a point. What an asshole. <laughs> so, I fucking love this part. This part of the game is so cool. So, let's go ahead and save. I fucking love this game. Especially at this po at this moment, I'm like, yeah, this game rocks! I'm gonna be honest with you. Um... I know this is really, really, really late game, but this moment, like, when we go into Solaris and everything, this is where the game, like, fucking goes nuts. And I'm like, yes! This is so cool! <laughs> So, I might be, like, going hype over this shit. There is some things I would like to talk about in this- about this game. That I didn't really realize when I first played it on my own. And that's, like, one- one of the things I'll go ahead and say right now. I was gonna wait for when I beat the game. But, one of the things is, I didn't realize how slow the beginning is. Like, you know... Since since the last session, goddamn, I didn't even know I'd get a fight. Holy crap, what's going on? Okay, that was weird. But uh, we're we're still getting party members. Like we're still meeting people and getting party members. We don't know very much about our enemy at this point still, and we're just getting party members. And like we're forty hours in. That's crazy. So this game starts off super slow. It doesn't really dive into the like the real meat of the story until as I said the second disc where which is why I love the second disc so much is because it goes into everything. It it really goes into everything. And I don't care if the if the budget, you know, went to shit on that on that disc. I still think it's the better disc. I I still by far think it's the better disc. But now I think we're in a... Um... A, uh, dungeon. Another dungeon, so we need to find our way of where to go. What the fuck me? Anyway, I'm sorry to, like, go off on you guys and, like, go on this whole big, like, hype thing, but I really love this part of the game. 
Um, and, I don't know, I just, I think it's so cool. I, I love that Saiten did that, even though it's the biggest asshole thing in the world. I love that he did that. It was the coolest thing. So, oh, back here we get a Aquasol DX. So that's good. And we just gotta keep going. Oh, this is also one of the coolest rooms in the game. Because, what game fucking does this shit? They make the save points! That's so cool! I love that the save points are a major plot point in the game. It's so cool! What's this, memory cube data? Is it the thing we usually use to save? The information of all the people who have accessed the memory cube from all over the world is being sent here now. This facility is the Integration Control Center. What's it for? Well, it stores data. This room is so fucking rad. It is so cool. I love this thing. Just like, what game makes the save point a major plot point? It's so cool! By the way, I'm, I'm gonna save. <laughs> Wait, didn't I just save? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I just saved. I'm gonna I'm I'm check. That's so fucking cool though. Yeah, yeah, just save. Uh, this is Corellian's lab, by the way, as you saw just there. God, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna fucking talk about how cool this shit is for the next 20 minutes. Because it's so cool. Which way was I going? I don't fucking know. I think this way. Oh shit, this looks scary. Uh, what's this? Get in the fucking robot, Shinji. It looks just like that. Oh man, this is getting the fucking robot Shinji episode. What is this thing? A, a gear. No, look at this, uh, the surface of the armor isn't segmented. It's the same as Bart's gear and, and, and Vari, sorry, and the gear we saw in Shavat. It's an Omni gear. But this thing is huge. Yes, it's got to be around three times as powerful as our gears. So, this is Solaris's Omni gear. So they have their own Omni gear, which is pretty radical. So there's there's their Omni gear if you want to check it out. But let's go in here. Oh, this is that fucked up room. This room is fucked up. Just just in case you didn't know after I called it the fucked up room, this room's pretty fucked up. God, I'm so in now. Like I'm so into it now because this game is gonna go hardcore. From now on. God, I love this part. <laughs> I love these parts of the game. Um, I believe we can actually release these guys to get the treasure inside. Yo, long time. It's me, the one who owed that dog and click kiss lev. Uh, okay. It may look like this, but the dog's doing fine. Oh, on the roof? Please, don't think about letting me out. Even though I'm still conscious, eventually I'll... Oh, look at that one! Over here? This guy looks fucked up! So, as you can probably guess, experimentation. So, I believe we can actually get these guys out of here? Oh, well. Let's fight the fucked up one. Good, good day. We gotta fight the fucked up one. Um, as you can probably tell, these are all land dwellers. So, they got they got kind of fucked up. Um, let's do rare Willowin. Sure. God, that's cool. But these guys should be pretty easy to take care of. We're not doing 
I mean, they're not... We're, we're doing all our 7 AP death blows, and 7 AP death blows are... To be, to be honest with you, fucking broken. Like, they are broken. Get some Terra Charge in here. Wow, that's amazing. I've never seen that one, honestly, and that's fucking amazing. Um, let's get some more Deathblow training in here so he can learn some more. Because I would like to get his all set up. These guys aren't even attacking, I'm noticing. So I'm just going to use him. Wow, poor guys. They're not even attacking me. I just realized that. Well, let's go in here and we get a we get scales. I believe we can just leave them here, but you know, fuck it, let's kill them. You you opened it. I told you not to open it. My mind. And he lost it. Oh no, not this guy. Damn it. Well, we're gonna be here for a while. I should probably cut this out, actually, because you've seen this before. So if I cut this out, good. Alright, wrapped him up pretty easily. Oh, Okay, I felt bad about that one, because he really cared about his dog. But we get a muscle belt in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check that out. I might as well heal everyone while I'm at it. So, muscle belt. I have a Gaunium belt, so what's muscle belt? Muscle belt's right there, I just saw. Increases defense. Okay. So, I guess we'll unlock this guy as well and get the last one since we've done the rest of them. We gotta fight. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna release you. I mean, it's, it's actually better that we do this because you don't want to leave them like this. It's fucked up. 